Welcome to the Battle Arena. So, I've made this lovely arena, and we're going to use it to make stuff battle. Let's get into it. So, this video is going to be a bunch of different creatures, mostly tamed creatures versus bosses, fighting in this dope arena, uh, ending in the title fight, which is going to be the 100 locks versus every single boss at the same time. Um, and we're going to start small and work our way up. And uh, yeah, let's jump into the first fight. Okay, here we have our first fight. Let's see how this happens because they do have to get next to each other for it to start. Here we go. Oh hell, it's happening. The wolf gets hit first. Oh, big chunk. Massive chunks of damage are being taken out of each here. Oh, the wolf just took a big hit though. Who's going to win? Wolf is much faster. Definitely attacks faster. But Geekfear's taking bigger chunks out with each hit. Oh, this is going to be close. The wolf's one shot. Oh, oh, close. One more hit and the wolf would have done it. Interesting, interesting. Okay, here we have our next fight. The Elder versus five wolves. Let's see who wins this one. Uh, the Elder definitely hits a lot harder than Geekfear. But five wolves is a lot of wolves. Let's see how they go. Okay, they are getting absolutely shit on. We're going to need a lot more wolves. Okay, here we have two locks versus the Elder, and they've gone for the tower and strategy. We'll see how it pays off. Uh, big hits already, F one of them. I think that's... Oh, they've gone for the tower and strategy again. Never mind, they've given up on it. Okay, one locks is in, getting some smacks in. Who the one's going for the vines? I like this strategy. Divide and conquer. I like it. One takes out the vines, one goes for the boss. This is smart. Good strategy from the locks. The Elder's getting in stamp stomps on both of them at the same time. That's difficult. It's difficult to handle as a Larks. They kind of don't know what they're doing. The Vines are confusing them. They've only got small brains. Well, there we go. They're, they're coordinating now. Oh, it's game over for the Elder. They are Oh, never mind. The Vines are out. The brains are too small. They can't They can't understand who the enemy is. Oh, never mind. They figured it out. They're back on, they're back on the target. Okay, the Elder's not... like After it did its little sneak attack... It's not done much damage to either of them. This is a, uh, this is going to be, this is going to be a win for the Larks unless there's some more. I think we need more vines. That's the only shot. They get confused. Okay, there we go. There we go. The vines are confusing them. He's got one backed into a corner. This one doesn't know what it's doing. This looks inappropriate. Uh, the elder's really low. One of the locks has absolutely just left it to die. It's just big running. However, it's going to end any second here. One more attack from the Larks will do it. Oh, he's got Vines out. Not in time, though. The two Larks beat the Elder. Okay, next up, we're going to have the Bone Mass versus five Locks. Let's see how this goes. So, the Locks can... Uh, the Locks... The Bone Mass can spawn Skeletons and Blobs, which we know extra targets is a big weakness for the Locks. Their brains just can't compute multiple enemies, they get distracted, they get confused. So, here we go. Uh, there is three have been stunlocked by some, some gas cloud. They can't, they can't figure it out. This one's running up. Oh no, he's going for the flank. I kind of love this play. Okay, I don't love the double flanks. Now it's no longer a flank. Okay, we're about to lose our first locks here, I think. It's not going to be long. Uh, they've barely done any more damage since last time. Still at about a quarter. Maybe a, maybe a third if you really want to make it a push. One Lox is dead. The second is almost dead. Down goes Lox number two. We have three left. Bone Mass is going to make its move towards them. Because they are not making their way towards him. And here we go. One Lox is running. No. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the strategy here. Oh, he's gone for it. He's in. These two are... They're on ad duty. I like that. That's... Yeah. No, I'm down for that strategy. Maybe two on the boss, one on ads, but... This is fine. Okay, we're getting some we're getting some damage to start forming here. And we've got three of them going in from all different angles. I love this strategy. They're kind of now all in the same angle, though, because they've pushed in. But... Oh, this is great. This is great work from the locks. They are absolutely dominating every side of the, of the of the arena they've got the bone mass pinned we've got ads are absolutely getting cleaned out 
Oh, this is this is chaotic. We've got a skeleton up top that is doing absolutely nothing. Oh, wait, did one lock die? I can't tell. I think a lock's died. I think we've just got two left. But the bone mass is getting kind of low. Uh, there are no blobs on the outside, just a skeleton up there. For some reason, I thought there was one outside. Uh, oh, we've gone for the... No way. If it kills the skeleton, that would have been the sickest play I've ever seen in my life. Unfortunately, still can't quite reach. Uh, one of them super low. The other one, a little below half. Unfortunately, it is attacking the skeleton, which isn't doing a lot for us. One locks is dead. We've got a locks with maybe a quarter health versus a bone mass with about a quarter health. Unfortunately, I do not think the locks wins this 1v1. And this will be a W for the bone mass. And there we have it. Our last locks was defeated. A close fight. I think if they if the locks worked on the team uh, teamwork a little bit, they could have they could have pulled it off. But here we have it. Next up, we have Moda, and I've decided to mix it up and go ice on ice. We've got the wolf versus Moda. However, obviously it's not one wolf because that would be unfair and would be a complete one-sided fight. We have 200 wolves. Uh, all level one, I believe when you spawn them in, it, it, it just... What is this strategy? They're trying to take it to the air, and I mean, they're kind of doing a good job. They've... They're getting over. I don't think this is a successful strategy. I don't think there's enough of them to get over, but they are starting to chip away. Um, maybe this will work. They are leaving the arena, which um, I would consider cheating, but against Moda, I think we're going to allow it. Uh, there are a lot of them getting out. Look at this. This teamwork is incredible. If only the locks could commit to this sort of teamwork. Uh, the wolves are just clearly too much for Moda to handle. And yeah, absolutely annihilated it. That was not close. Imagine it landed in here and had all of these on it. It'd be an absolute annihilation. I do need to kill these before they get too far away though. Um... But yeah, let's, let's try locks versus Moda now. Okay, here we go. We have 10 locks versus Moda. So hopefully these can put on the show that the wolves did. However, we will see. Um, obviously, the ice breath is going to be a big threat. And the fact that Moda has wings. Uh, locks do not have wings, but... They do pack a punch and do have a lot of health. So let's see how they handle Moda. On the ground, I believe 10 locks will annihilate Moda. I don't think it will be close. However, Moda does have flight. So let's just see how they handle it. Everyone's running away. For some reason, the locks are scared of Moda. We have two. One coming from the rear, one from the front. There's a great little flanking maneuver. Uh, however, the two, two, there's only two locks getting involved. The other eight are just chilling. Not quite sure what the, the reason for that is. Hopefully Moda lands on the inside. Oh no. That was a double kill. That was a double kill from Moda. Two locks dead. But it's back on the ground. Hopefully these this time they actually take advantage of the fact that Moda's on the ground. Come and attack it everybody. Please get involved. Okay, we're going to have to end this match with a disqualification. Uh, from time out because this is taking so long. It doesn't look like the locks were going to do anything. These are all half health, uh, if not lower, and Moda is just not even interested anymore. So we're going to give this a win to Moda. Next, we have Yagluth versus 50 locks. This is a huge step up from anything we've seen before. We've only gone as high as 10 locks. Let's see what Yagluth, the strongest boss, can do against 50 locks. And you'll notice it shreds through locks. So let's just see how it can handle 50 of them. Because that is a lot of locks. Now, that is the killer attack for these locks. Look at their health tick away from that burn damage. Yagluth's taking huge damage, but all of the locks are dying very quickly. This is going to be close. Even though Yagluth's already super low, there's so many fewer locks. Yagluth's now out of the out of the stage uh, with some locks following. Let's see how this plays out. We may have to rerun this simulation. 
because I think it's going to end in a draw. Um, this has not happened before. <laughs> um, yeah, let's let's re <laughs> let's redo that. Right here we go, round two of Yagluth versus Fifty Locks. Uh, hopefully we don't get any more out of bounds uh, stalemates here, and we can just find a winner. Um, yeah, I think it all depends on this first attack here from Yaglu. Fire Breath is not going to do it. That is not AoE and it's just not really relevant. You've killed one Lox, but you're going to need to kill another 49 and you do not have that kind of time to waste. These are the attacks we want. The Blue Flames absolutely shred through Lox. We are cooking them literally right now. Uh, Yaglu's health is flying down but so is the number of locks. There is, they are dying by the dozen. Just this blue flame, just, just stare at any health bar and you will see that the health is just dwindling rapidly. These are all fine each other for some reason. Uh, let's see how they handle Yagluth at uh, half health. I think we've probably got less than half of the locks left, maybe more. I don't know what's going on here, but we are we are struggling with something. So here we go. We've got a big group of locks ganging up on Yagluth in the corner. Unfortunately, you can't see him because he's buried in locks. But they are absolutely annihilating his health bar. But the locks are also getting destroyed just as quick, if not quicker. And that is all but one. And now all of the locks dead. However, there are still these six heroes over here. Can they finish the job? Okay, I've resorted in physically moving the locks because they are not getting involved. We have three locks in here that need to get more damage in than that if they have any hope to win this. Come on, guys. I had a little bit of faith and now my faith is lost. There's, there are two locks left. One's not playing. This one isn't really attacking, it's just running just in a straight line. Okay, and we're going to call this a win for Yagalu. There is still one locks in the corner, but they take so long to get far in, and there is absolutely 0% chance that it loses with that much health left. Next up, we have 100 balls versus Ether. Fuck me. Well, that was... Is that literally all of them dead already? In two hits? That was quite impressive how efficiently that was done. Okay, here we have a little bit of a switch of pace here. We have five eat there, so five bosses against just the one locks. Now, I don't know how well this is gonna go, but I would imagine that five eat there's is too much for just one locks. Um but we will find out. We need lots of slams here, lots of AoEs. The bite isn't going to cut it here. Um, if we can get a slam off right now, it's going to do big damage to everyone. The Lox hits a ton harder than Ether, obviously, otherwise this wouldn't be close. But I think it's possible. One's nearly dead. I think one shot, maybe two. A big slam here would be lovely. <gasps> the triple kill out of nowhere. The Lox is only half health. This one's nearly dead. Oh my god, the Lox is going to do it. There's another one dead. And we've got the other one half health. Lox is about half health, but he's just killed four Ethers. One more hit and this is over. Oh, never mind. One more hit now and it's over. What an animal. Five Ethers, not a problem for the Lox. Now here's the fight you've all been waiting for. 50 Ethers versus 10 Lox. Let's see who wins. Um... I don't think it's even going to be close because the knockback is just ridiculous. Uh, I don't think the locks ever stood a chance. Oh no, they're killing a few. Wait, if they're pushed up against the wall, this might be bad for the Ethers. Hold on, we might have a change of pace here, although I think it's too late. Uh, apologies if you have epilepsy and just died. But yeah, this this was closer than I thought. Maybe 15, maybe 15 locks do it against the 50 Ethers. They're still alive. Never mind. They were still alive. That was closer than I thought. Okay, we're going to try this again. This is 15 locks that aren't tamed. 
We've got 15 locks versus 50 eat clears up against the wall out of the gate. Let's see who wins this. We're going to get a big aerial view here. Um, I can't see any eat clears dying just yet. Locks are being blown up way into the sky. There we go. We're getting some locks, de uh, some eat clears deaths. Oh, this is going so much better for the locks. I think this, I think the locks have absolutely slaughtered this one. I think it's not close. Oh no, the locks are all super low. They are all low as hell. They all have zero health. Apparently my game's bugged. Um, hopefully these aren't invincible and this wasn't a waste of time. But they have absolutely slaughtered the Eat Fear this time around. And now, for the fight you've all been waiting for. 100 locks in a pyramid formation. This wasn't really part of the deal, but here you go. Versus the Elder, Yagluth, Bone Mass, Ikthir, and Moda, who is... What are you doing? That was not part of the script, I promise. Right, as soon as I hit enter, the fight will commence. Three, two, one. Let's see how they do. So obviously the main threat here is going to be Dagluth. All the others aren't really much of a threat apart from... I don't know if we can call that a threat. But yeah, th that is what we need to worry about. That fire move right there is a threat. Uh, obviously Ekthir is going to die in about two seconds. Still alive somehow. Nope, there we go. Dead. Uh, yeah, Gluth's in there. Unfortunately we can't see health bars because they're all meshed together. Bone mass is getting destroyed. The Elder just died. Uh, yeah, Gloop is here in the corner. I'm assuming getting annihilated because there are so many. Moda's finally moving in. Uh, yeah, Gloop is getting out, which could be a problem. Bone mass is somehow still alive, which is quite impressive. We kind of need Yeah, Gloop to get back in the fight. Otherwise, this is going to be another stalemate. And we're going to have to start again, which I really don't want to do. Bone mass is down, so it's just the two big ones left. Moda... And Yagluth. Yagluth is out of the arena currently, which is cheating. Bomas using its flight ability to pick off the odd uh, locks here. Really what it's known for. Once again, outside, cheating. Uh, let's see if we can try and get the Yagluth back in. That was so fucking cool. Um... Yeah, yeah, glutes back in because I'm a fucking legend. I don't even know what that was, but it was dope. Uh, but yeah, the fight continues. Unfortunately, we have Moda's health bar, so we can't see how low Yagluth is. But we still have plenty of locks left. Yagluth's still here, still kicking. I've no idea how much health. Uh, Moda's over here cheating on the other side of the wall. Hopefully gets back involved soon. The locks are moving in on Yagluth. This is close. This is the big one. Um... We really need to just... If these... Oh, this is going to be close. Because if these locks don't kill Yagluth here, I don't know. Yagluth's dead. Okay, this is big. We just have Moda left, uh, which is no small feat. This, that's still the second strongest boss in the game. Uh, versus what is only maybe eight locks and that are all low on health. And Moda's doing Moda things and he's not in the arena. Nice. We're going to wait for Moda to take flight one more time. And if it does not land inside the arena, we're going to call this a victory for Moda. Because uh, I don't think the locks will be able to handle it with what numbers are left. If uh, Moda doesn't land inside on this next ring. And then we'll go to round two. Because obviously this is going to be a best of three. Um, and we will see who wins the second match. Moda is absolutely decimating these fools. There are only six left, I believe, and almost all of them have no health. Moda has, however, landed inside, but there are literally all semi-deadlocks. Um, unfortunately, I don't think it's going to be enough. There goes one. They're not even trying. They've given up. There goes another. They've got one full health, and then three that are super close to death. I don't think this is much of a fight anymore. It's just a slaughter fest. Unfortunately, I think the bosses have taken this one. And the locks have lost. There goes another. This one's about to die any second. There it is. And we just have two locks left. This one has pretty much no health. This one is full. 
but it can't 1v1 motor. So this is game over. Unfortunately, the locks have been decimated here. Although it was close. Only motor left. Um, and yeah, it was a close fight. So let's go on to round two. Okay, here we go. Round two. This time we are in cinematic mode because I realized health bars are pointless. So we get a slightly better view here. Um, I'm not sure when motor motor is in this time. This is a big deal. Motor is landed and inside. It's, this is huge for us. Uh, yeah, Gloose over here. If we can take out motor, then this might just be game over immediately. Um, because motor is a threat and the second biggest one at that. Um, but yeah, here we have everyone is uh, still alive apart from Ekthir, I believe. Although I don't really know. I don't know where Ekthir is. I'm assuming dead. Impressed if not. Moda is dead. That is huge. All we have left really as a threat is Yaglu. If the locks can get together and form this team, there's some outside, and kill Yaglu before it kills everyone, this is over. The elder is down, it's just bone mass and Yaglu, as you can see here. The duo. Let's see how they handle it from an aerial view. We've still got lots of locks in the background, not getting involved. I'm Im impressed that, Mo that Bomas is still alive at this point. That is impressive, although I'm assuming we'll fall any second now. There we go. Bomas is dead. And let's go back into the camera so that we can see how much health the Agluth has. And it is about a quarter, maybe a third. We do not have many locks left. And the ones that are involved are dying out rapidly. The rest are staying far, far away. Please do not get out, because I do not think I can get you back in. That was bright. Okay, I'm interfering again. Get back in. Okay, we still have maybe 20 locks left. Yeglith is getting super low. Maybe a fifth health at this point. Uh, we really need the locks to just get involved, but they're really just not. They're keeping the distance. The locks that are getting involved, though, are chipping away. This is super low now. Yeah, there goes that last lock. If these all attack coordinated, which for some reason they just did when I said that, which was weird, they could win this. I don't know how much health these guys will have, but this could be a win for the locks if they pull it off here. They just need to get a few good hits in. I don't know why they're piling them up like this. This never works. Um, it just means all the locks at the bottom can't attack. He is getting super low, though. His health is falling. Come on, locks. We can do this. There aren't many of you left, but he has not got much health. The locks back here just tanked all of the meteorites. What a legend. He has, like, maybe four hits from locks left before he dies. Unfortunately, all of these are dead. There are two locks left that are half health and full health. Honestly, this is doable. Honestly, this is doable. If the locks get their act together... They could definitely pull this off. He has such little health. Unfortunately, though, the locks are a bit dumb, and usually the Yagluth gets the first attack, which could be fatal here. Okay, Yagluth is now in range, and like I said, he's going to get the first attack because the locks don't seem to care. Incoming meteorites. They all missed, and the locks are in the way in. Oh my god, this is doable. It is down to the 1v1. Can this locks do it? I don't think he's going to be able to. It was a bit more than four hits, like I said. If it was four, I think we still would have lost anyway. I think that was three, but that was insanely close. We're going to do a bonus round because that was super close, and I think 100 locks can win this. <laughs> okay, here we go again. Uh, we've already sort of got started getting involved a little bit here, but let's just see what the team could pull off. So we've got every, all the bosses are here apart from Moda. I don't know where Moda is over here on the outside. Uh, Ekthir is still alive in there. Uh, although probably just died. I very much doubt he survived all that. Uh, yeah, Gluth is over here getting attacked. I think the Elder just died. I believe that was the Elder that just went. So we just have Bone Mass, Moda and Yagluth yeah, left. Uh, Bomas is in there. I think still alive. Might have just died, actually. Yep, I think just died. Maybe? Can't tell. Yeah. Mode is, uh, yeah, Bomas is dead. 
Jagluth and Moda, the two most fearsome, obviously. Uh, Jagluth is in the corner here, getting annihilated. Let's, uh... Moda is in the sky. Hopefully it lands back in the arena so that we can see some more action. Um... Let's go back into normal mode so that we can see health bars, because I don't know whose health bar we have at the top. Moders, who is still pretty much full health. Uh, and Yagluth just died, I believe. So this is now extremely doable. Um, we have Moda versus what is maybe 30 locks, something like that. If it lands inside, over this side, once, it is game over. However, we have seen many a time Moda uh, stay on the outskirts and win. However, it did just land inside. The only problem is all the locks on the other side of the uh, arena. So this is probably not that helpful for us because they are all stupid. Moda is back inside. And for some reason this time, everyone has decided to get involved. Never mind. They all kind of did and then gave up. What is happening? I can't tell if they care or not. Some of them kind of look like they do, and then they don't. Um, come on, guys. If you just get involved right now, it's game over. We've got three three locks on the motor. If we just get a few more in here, that I think some of them are trying, but this one's very much blocking them all. Um, this could be game over. How you're not involved, I don't understand. You are literally six meters away, staring it in the face. Oh, we have motor on the side. If it falls in, this could be game. However, the locks still don't care, even though... They, all right, this is opportunity. This is the last opportunity. Come on, guys. Okay, we've got a couple coming in. We need the whole team to get involved here. Come on, everyone. This is your moment. <laughs> Please do not make me sit here for another 10 minutes waiting for Moda to come into the arena. Oh, Moda is in the arena and has jumped right in the middle of three locks. Uh, all with decent amounts of health left. This could be it. This could be the win we were looking for for the locks. They are all over Moda, literally. We've got one on its back. Oh, this is game. This is game over. Look at Moda's health. Look at it fall. In all its glory. Moda is about to fall. Look at this twat came in and stole the last kill, wasn't involved in the whole thing. Well, there you have it, folks. The 100 locks defeated every single boss at the same time, with exactly 10 left, with exactly 11 left. Um, but yeah, even though they lost, they, lost the, they lost the war, but won the battle, which isn't how that saying is meant to go, but there you have it. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any other uh, battles that you think would be cool like any other combinations be sure to let me know in the comments but yeah thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next one